Hi, I'm Judy. I'm Jenna. And this is Snack That. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a fun, fun made at home one today. Yes, we do. Yeah. I feel like this is really appropriate, like with the holidays coming up. Oh, definitely party, party snacks. Yeah, party snacks, uh, entertaining Elena, people. Yeah. It's what I learned today, uh, deceptively simple, <laughs> <laughs> to make really good Ritz cracker toppings. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, we, how did we, so we each made a couple different ones. Yes. How did you come up with yours? Um, what did I have around that oh, sounded right. like a reasonable topping? I like that. Yeah. I did the one that my mom used to make me as an after school snack. Okay. And then, um, we asked on Instagram and overwhelmingly people said cream cheese with pepper jelly. That's like, no, that's a classic party topper. Yeah, it is. I've just never had it that on a Ritz before. That screams holidays to me. Oh, I totally have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And then um, just a couple, yeah, same thing, kind of on a whim. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, let's slide them over here. I, it looks like we maybe have one and a half sweet ones. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. So we should start with savory, maybe? I agree, yes. Okay. Let's do it. Well, I, we can start with the one. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So when I was little, my Yee. mom used to always make white cheddar and chives. So uh, she would microwave them, which leaves the cracker pretty mushy. Yeah, that's going to change the texture a lot. It does. And listen, when you're a kid, I kind of liked it, but I'm an adult now. So I <laughs> did broil them. Um, and it's really important that's white cheddar because, and I okay. quote, uh, orange cheddar freaks my mom out. Uh-oh. <laughs> so there you go. Very straightforward. <laughs> Easy to accomplish. Yeah. Literally two things. Cheese. Um, chives or green onion? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Green onion. Uh, and she just uses scissors to cut, cut them on top. Brilliant. And it's important that the cheese has melted to the point of getting the bubble, the bubblies on it. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a really important part of the process. I mean, the taste is delicious. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the cracker still retains some of its some of it's crunch. Yeah. yeah. Well, I did broil them. They're definitely not as, they're a little bit mushier if you, the if texture you just changes a lot in the microwave. They absorb a lot of humidity, I guess. Oh, yeah. Little really sponges. Know. Yeah. <laughs> um, more cheese? Um, yeah. Sorry, Gwen, <laughs> uh, about the orange cheddar. <laughs> um, but we have orange cheddar slices, or orange marmalade. And almonds. I'm excited like sliced for this. almonds. It's actually a combo I've never had before. I saw this on the interwebs. Oh, okay. And I was like, I have those things. We can try this. Great. Mmm. Mm. A whole bite of it. It's a lot of We're chopping. chopping. It takes a lot of chewing. It does. Okay. No. I like cheese and jam. I like cheese and fruit. I've never had cheddar and marmalade. No. I liked that a lot more than I was expecting, honestly. Me too. I kind of wish the almond flavor was slightly stronger. Yeah, it didn't have enough of a punch. It was really yeah. kind of there for like texture. Maybe like either more almonds. Yeah, the texture I picked up on. Yeah. But for flavor, either maybe more almonds or like toasted, toasted almonds. Toasted almonds. Yeah, I totally. think toasted would have done it. Mm, yeah, good call. Um, yeah. All right, well, let's go with everyone's favorite. Party Ritz. Party Ritz. Uh, cream cheese and then the, the pepper jelly selection at my store was really lacking. Yeah. But we just so happen to have uh, pineapple pepper jelly. Ooh. So it is pineapple and pepper. Excited. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It screams Christmas, Christmas party. I could eat a thousand of those. When I was in <laughs> elementary school. So good. So good. So creamy, and then I like, it's, oh, it's overwhelmingly sweet. There's just that like Little edge of savory. Hint. Yeah. yeah. Hint of heat. Yeah, yeah. Which helps. Mm hmm. Man, I could eat 1,000 of those. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like in a heartbeat. And it's easier to get through because it kind of mushes the cracker a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Soften it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I guess this is an in betweener. So cute. The peanut butter and jelly. I love it. And the Ritz website said to add apple slices, oh. which was a cute idea. Yeah. But I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I thought I had an apple at home. When I got home from the grocery store, I didn't have an no apple. apple. But I did have dried cherries. Cute, yeah. So I thought that would be a good alternate. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 I mean, everyone's put peanut butter on a Ritz. 
Yeah. I don't know if I've ever put peanut butter and jelly. I, no. But it makes sense. It's an excellent bread substitute. It really is. Yeah. And then the dried fruit or maybe an apple slice, I get that adds a little bit of a different texture. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. It's the same as putting, you know, potato chips on your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh my god, yeah. The best. Yes. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, if yeah. I ever wanted PBJ and it didn't have bread but I had crackers. Also, if you were trying to entertain like a seven-year-old, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they, they'd be hard-pressed to argue with that. It was a little more after-school special and a little less, uh, even with the dried cherries, which are very sophisticated. I was going to say that, that took it up a notch. It still was pretty juvenile. I'm <laughs> not going to lie. Um, I'm really excited for this one. Okay. Yeah. So this is a uh, caramel pecan mm. topper. It's you basically, you caramelize these pecans yourself? Yes. How'd you do that? Uh, it's melted caramel. You know, you just melt it with a little bit of milk. Okay. And then I put cinnamon and then uh, pecans. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a Sorry, very big mouthful. Sorry, that's a big mouthful. <laughs> you might not. <laughs> I'm going to try to bite it in half. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, man, those are good caramelized pecans. I'd eat that plain yeah but because you used like caramel squares it is like a little sticky it's very sticky so like having a big pile of it at a party actually would not work very no. well uh so the cracker actually works really well perfect vessel yeah it is the perfect vessel i will say it's very sweet and caramely and pecan so you can't actually taste the cracker at all no it's just kind of it, it's, it's giving it a little bit of like a pie quality because you get that salt at yeah, the bottom a little bit of salt for the crust but yeah they're messy though <laughs> Easy to make. Oh yeah, very simple. Yeah, right. I'm excited for that. Our last one is s'mores, Ooh. and but they're made with Nutella. Oh girl, yes. And I will say, when I put the marshmallow on each Ritz before I put it into the broiler, uh, it seemed like way too much marshmallow. So I actually ripped them all in half, and I'm happy I did because oh. I think it's a much more appropriate amount. I was of gonna say this looks like an excellent ratio. Yeah, nailed so it. Ripped them in half and. Divided them. I like it. <laughs> what was that? It's great on a Ritz, but oh. there is something about a graham cracker, the flavor of a graham cracker mm -hmm. that adds to a s'mores. Mm -hmm. But since we're using Nutella and the Nutella it's flavor is kind of strong. Yeah, it's not entirely the same because we do have that hazelnut. Mm -hmm. I think it works very well. Also, and listen, Maybe everyone's like, yeah, duh, Judy, with what I'm about to say. <laughs> but why aren't we just making s'mores in the oven more often? Oh, I don't. Like, I don't know. You put a marshmallow on top of the cracker and broil it, and then you just smush it. It's the same, easier, less messy, year no, round, no any time of day. Yeah, indoors. <laughs> you don't have to start a fire. Like, I literally did it, and then I was like, why? Don't we do this? It's not talked about enough. It's not. If people are doing it, they're not. They're not saying. Why so. aren't people? Yeah. If you're doing it, why aren't you telling people about it? Yeah. Why aren't we all eating s'mores all the time? <laughs> oh. I don't know. It is a good point. It's not talked about. Or people aren't doing it. So well, this is my well. PSA. Do that. <laughs> broil. Use that broil setting. Yeah, man. I feel like maybe a lot of people don't use broil setting. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, it's like it's my favorite setting. Mm. <clears throat> it's my favorite thing to use my oven for is broiling things. <laughs> my broiler's broken, so I'm not oh, going <laughs> to. I'm actually very sad for you. Yeah. I will say I never, even though it's obvious and like cream cheese and jelly go great together. And I'm sure I probably had them in other contexts, like on a sandwich or something. I'm like, where, but, where else have I had that other than on a Ritz? I've never had it on a Ritz. And I think that that was hands down my Favorite? I think that was my favorite. That's fair. Yeah, easy. Yeah, I mean, that's a classic. That's a nostalgic favorite for me. So can't go wrong with that one. I did like the caramel pecans. Yeah. I feel like it's like simple, but like dressy enough to bring to a party and be like, hey, I made a thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's a good point. But it's like, like little easy. clumps are one mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. I wonder. I wonder if there's like one thing you could put on top, like to decorate it, to make oh, it like Oh, something super cute. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little topper for sure. Yeah. There's got to be something. Even if it was something really stupid, like a little piece of 
caramelized orange or something, or a candied orange. A little dope. I'm just saying, you could really, Ooh. could really fancy that up for a holiday party. You really could. Yeah, but they were delicious. And I bet that would taste really good. Yeah, it would be good. Mm. Next time. Yeah. I mean, that's it, guys. <laughs> that was a quickie. Yeah. Uh, very straightforward. Super straightforward. You know, you, you got some Ritzes, you got stuff in your pantry and your fridge. Yeah. What can you create? The glimmy thing. Yeah. It is a vessel begging to be topped. Also, who doesn't like a Ritz cracker? Oh, uh, apparently someone. One person, and they're wrong because it's weird to have such strong feelings about a Ritz of all things. It was truly shocking. Yeah, mind blowing. If I... you don't already follow us on Instagram, at Snack That Show, can, where all the drama goes down, <laughs> apparently. But yeah, uh, anything else? No, that's all I got. That's all we got. <laughs> uh, like, subscribe. Bye.